it went from like a hundred thousand market cap to 180 million, they're going to have a downtrend. So, um, but the entire time we were gaining holders. So we actually breached 10,000 holders, which is really exciting. Um, I know that B roots has really talked about the importance of that. And I do want them to, uh, note on that here in a second, but that's huge guys. Not many coins break 10,000 holders. So when you break 10,000 holders and you're in a downtrend, what's that mean? That means people are buying the dip. But we are ready for an entirely new leg up. And the good thing is this time we have market structure, which means we have our points uh, from the last run. So you have resistances, you have supports, and you have all these areas that people will be adding to bags on. So I, I, I think the chart looks phenomenal, and I firmly believe that we have bottomed out. Yeah, um, usually the 10,000 actually happens during uptrends. So that that's, like, it's, like you said, that's something to be extremely proud of and extremely um, unique because it rarely, I've never seen it actually happen on a downtrend like the way we had it. Um, and that goes by the show, the type of product that we have and and what we represent to the point where people see the price going down. Usually people are in fear and they don't want to get in. But when you see holders going up, that just means that when there is an uptrend, it's going to exponentially, like it's going to grow like ridiculous amount because it was growing up. We had a couple of days where it kind of fell back, but for the most point we were trending up in our follow in our uh, wallet holder account. Like to me, it's, it's, it's bullish. AF as, as, as you can be. So yeah, it's going to grow fast because we got it during a downtrend and I've never seen it happen before. With the celebration of 10,000 holders, uh, there is actually a giveaway live on the spaces. 10 holders are going to get uh, $1,000 in ETH each. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I know a lot of people have and some may um, not have noticed that there are some crypto ogs joining the chat uh being part of the conversation whether or not these guys bought yet i don't know but they are lurking in the telegram in the chat and as with anyone usually the first thing that you want to do to see if you want to buy a coin unless you're just randomly buying which people do um but people that are very you know been here for a while experienced they want to check out a community they want to see what's going on they want to check out the vibes and ask some questions. So uh, Pentoshi slid in to the Telegram this week, uh, which I, I was super surprised and also super excited to see him there. Um, if you guys don't know who Pentoshi is, he is just one of the most OG crypto traders uh, in the entire space. Um, the guy just like absolutely wails into positions. Uh, <laughs> he'll post charts and put some like buy limits and stuff. And um, just to see the amount of volume that he's trading and capital he's buying, you know, this is a guy who he doesn't need to be in a, a, a meme coin or different coins like this uh, to, to make his wealth, right? He's made it. He's made a lot of awesome trades over the years, phenomenal trader, but he tweeted this week. Um, he said, you know, in the past, I've traditionally faded meme coins, but my thinking on this is, is changing as I see like the power of these communities and the space as a whole is evolving, right? I mean, MRI has the attention of so many people um, from MMA, uh, from the crypto world. I mean, you got Coinbase writing an article about it. And how to buy, you know, through like Coinbase wallet. So it's definitely awakened the space up. And the reality is, is people want to be a part of a movement and a community that is powerful. So there's a lot of great things that MRI is doing for MMA. Um, but also just from a standpoint of trading, when you have a strong community, uh, it really attracts um you know, everyone in crypto. And, it, and as Pantoshi was saying, it, I, I traditionally never looked at these types of investments to make, but they're becoming more appealing 
uh, because of the strength of the communities. There is actually going to be a fiat on-ramp um, that is that the team partnered with so that you can buy MRI with USD cash money, baby, right on the website. So that's freaking exciting. So if you can buy with USD cash, it's just more accessible. It's easier to buy. And when you're talking about people buying, or like we like to say retail, non-crypto purchasers, it'll be so easy for them to buy directly off the Marshall Inu site. The time is now. This isn't a question, guys. 100% of the time, money follows attention. Nobody is getting the attention that we're doing. We are the most appreciated coin ever. And it is improving and it's got a community behind it. And the opportunity is now, and oh, by the way, did I mention it's only been around for 13 weeks. This is the beginning and this is the opportunity. This is the whole reason we keep inviting people to come to spaces. It isn't to move the price. It's to provide knowledge so you can get on the opportunity. I just got a DM uh, uh, from the team. And they said that we actually have our own song out now uh, by Rich the Kid. So, Bryce, did, did you want to uh, announce that, sir? Sure. The team has been doing a lot behind the scenes in regards to development. Um, but one of the one things we did want to uh, do for the community is we wanted to organize a song. So... Uh, we were able to get in touch with Rich the Kid, and by none other, this is what he was able to produce for us. So that'll be uploaded on his YouTube and eventually on Spotify and other music platforms. So that, that is so badass uh, that you guys talked to him and got that done, man. I freaking love it. And uh, not only is it cool, but again, it like helps spread the word because people that listen to Rich the Kid, listen to rap, are going to hear this. And be like, wait, what's that? Oh, they see an ad in New York or they hear people talking about it on a podcast. It's like now you got podcasts, you got YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, taxi cab ads. You have fighters talking about it. You have ads in New York City, in L.A. You have rap songs. The whole point is brand recognition, brand awareness and things like this are just going to get more eyes um, more viewers, and uh, honestly, at the end of the day, it's just badass. I, I, I think he crushed it. You know, uh, the, the UFC is the 800-pound gorilla, right? Bellator is great. Uh, uh, you know, uh, PFL are great. They're live right now on ESPN. Uh, our first views, our first views, numbers, we have almost 926,000 views. Every other promotion, they get 200,000. UFC get a million. But I'm talking about the star power. In the pre-fight show, you have Khabib, Kamara Usman, Henry Cejudo, and Shel Sonnen, right? The pre-fight show alone, it's amazing. I would love to invite the whole uh, MRI team or the Marshall as my guest to come on May 20th. And we all can just watch and enjoy. It's a completely different vibe. You can do whatever you want. Like, like you know, and, um, and I know you guys are busy. Even my man price, <laughs> try to get a hold of him, but I can't. But. I love this guy. He's very passionate. He helped a lot of people. And I'm just let you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I always want to say like sad stories, not to promote MRI. Like, like, uh, it's really like, like Gilbert Byrne, right? Who's the guy who was down? Like Gilbert's talk. He's my guy. You guys make sponsor him. Give him a huge different, uh, crypto.com. They try to flex. You guys went and give a bigger bonus, you know, and he made, a lot of money and this is he can go put a down payment on a house because you made a difference in his life right uh like you know andrea fialo he was being told not not to say anything about marshall Hill. he chose to say something on the espn he got in trouble <laughs> but it's you know i'm talking about fighters going out of their way to do things they're gonna get in trouble for it. i don't recommend it because we have to follow the rule and regulation you know, and I'm just telling you, like, you know, uh, it's just that you guys are making a big difference, man. And, you know, guys like Brandon Allen, guys like we have like a group chat. All we talk about is uh, MRI. Right. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I'm very connected to the Middle East. Uh, I'm talking about like guys who have billions. And people ask me and like royal princes, royal princesses, uh, leaders. And people ask, what is the Marshall Eno things? Right. 
Uh, and I one of the guys was Munir Lazazi, who was sponsored, who lives in Dubai, right? I'm talking about in this far region of the world, Marshall Inu people start getting asking questions about Marshall Inu, right? And I have to explain to them it's a coin, it's helping support fighters. Um, and it's um, it's been great. And I'm gonna break some news today. Henry Soto's meet, meeting with the UFC this week in Vegas to for him to come back. Uh, we are meeting this week on Friday. Hopefully, we can get a deal done, and you'll probably see him uh, November or October. Uh, and uh, every guy, uh, you know, she'll mention is make me proud. Kamaru Usman is my guy. Henry Sahuru is my guy. Justin Gaethje is my guy. Habib is my guy. Brandon Al is my guy. But guess what? You guys supporting so many guys, not even my guys. And every time I see you guys supporting someone, like, honestly, I can get a hold of the team today. What I did, all PFL guys uh, fought in. Uh, they're going to give a shout out to Marshall uh, MRI on, on, on ESPN today. I don't even have a deal. I don't have nothing. I just did it for the love, you know? Uh, just I want to give back, like I always said, when you negotiate with people, don't try to take all the time. You have to give back. And you guys are going to grow and you're going to get busy. It's going to be hard to get back to people. And people have to understand that you guys are going to be very, very busy uh, because uh, I'm not in the coin business too much, but you guys do kick in everybody's ass. Like the level you're on, the gross you're on, you guys kick in everybody's ass. And and I'm telling you, I'm fighting a lot of battle behind scenes with promoters and they don't want the name to be mentioned because they have other interests in other coins and stuff. But this is a battle. I think MRI has become an army. We are an army, and I'm part of this army to the we fall off. My brother, I got coaches uh, who own gyms reaching out to me, said, and me and Price talked about it, how we can help, we can be part of the MMA community. I got Trello, you know Trello? They put on boxing fights and stuff. They're reaching out to me and said, how are we going to be part of uh, MRI? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wants a piece. You understand? Of course, they want to gain a little financial but also they want to promote the brand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people at the beginning, it was like, oh, this is a scam, this, this. Now everybody is calling me and I don't know why people are calling me. And I'm, I'm, I'm honored, of course, they're calling me. They probably call me, call Shell, you know, because uh, and they want to be part of it. And I think, honestly, this thing is going to get bigger and bigger. And I think people who believe in it, they're going to do, do very well. And uh People does not believe they're gonna kick this up in the butt and they're gonna jump later when it's much higher. <laughs> That's what I think. And and w- one more thing, me and Price talked about this, and we still kind of you know, working on it. Like Camaro have a crypto deal dot com, and he have an MRI deal. When I looked at the two deal, I, I, I couldn't do both. You understand? And I talked with Camaro. Camaro said, "No, we're gonna go to the, with, with this deal. Choose, you know." Marshall Ro- or you know of a crypto.com it was business decision you understand it wasn't personal but I'm talking about you know and this is the pound for pound best fighter on the planet you know what I'm saying also uh Derek Brunson we had him on recently and uh MRI did a successful takeover of his promotion ultimate battlegrounds um which again he said no one has ever actually done any paid promotion or helped out with that and that just means so much to the athletes that are competing. He was super, super, uh, truly surprised, blessed, and grateful that MRI helped out with that. And that's what, you know, we said from the beginning. We're really out here for MMA and any and all organizations, athletes, and people um, that can be helped will be helped. Marshall is coming back to dominate on King on Crypto Twitter, baby. We're taking this over again by storm. We're the best. Uh, we're the innovator and we're a leader in the industry. And with that, it becomes a very high responsibility. Um, so thanks to everyone that's helping, tweeting, everything you've ever done, any hashtag, all that, it matters. Uh, so thank you guys.